Hey guys, I wanna take just a minute, talk about the A3500. It's been two years now since we've had this machine. It's been on our counter every day for the last two years. Time out, I've been watching Lenny edit this video and I think that he's not making it quite clear enough how excellent this machine is. So first of all, we've had it for two years, he said that. That means I have, or we have used it conservatively like 700-ish times. That means we've made cashew queso, detox salad, peanut butter, acai bowls, green juice, caramel, ice cream, tomato soup, artichoke dip. What else have we made? Salsa, we make our batters, so banana bread. At this point, I could honestly say like we can't live without our Vitamix. Any Vitamix would do for our lifestyle. Any Vitamix makes hot soups, nut butters, frozen desserts, dressings, all of that. We could definitely get away with any other Vitamix on our counter. But this one has all the bells and whistles and that's kind of what we love about it. I really like that it's the quietest model. We use it many times a day and so that makes a difference. And it looks awesome in our kitchen. And I'd really miss the timer. I watch that timer, I set that timer. It helps me multitask in the kitchen. And then the eight ounce, I didn't think I was gonna use it that much, but we really do. I use all of my dressings I make in there, otherwise you end up having to make quite a bit of dressing. Balsamic vinaigrette, our Caesar, um, our ranch dressing, all in the eight ounce. I made all of our baby food for our kid in there. I steamed a bunch of veggies um, and used the eight ounce because I wasn't sure if he was gonna like anything, so I wanted to make a small amount. And then also we make our peanut sauce in there for our spring rolls, and that is an awesome use of that eight ounce container. So. I'm gonna make Lenny add this to his video because I don't feel like he was excited enough about the A3500 and I am, and I'm really the one that uses it the most in the kitchen. Here's what I know. The touch buttons, touch on off, touch pulse, they're really good. They haven't been anything but responsive and surprisingly durable. They even respond if there's a drop of water on there. And that goes for program buttons, as well as the plus and minus, so increase the count and decrease the count. And that also makes the front of the A3500 pretty easy to clean. It's just kind of one swipe, especially if you compare it to its predecessor, the Pro 750, there's more cracks and crevices in between the switches, so really easy to clean. The only thing I would say is for demonstration purposes, if you're using this thing backwards, if you have it in front of you like this and you're kind of doing this, it's a little tougher to do than just kind of pulling the switches. So if you've seen any of our videos and it's like, uh, it doesn't really work, well, that's because there, there's nothing to feel. So this is not good if you have any visual impairment. If you're an individual with visual disabilities, this is not a good fit for you. Like on a keyboard where there's a little scratch so you know where the D or the K is, I think. None of that here. Noise, this is still the quietest machine that we've ever had. I've been appreciating the responsive programming, the ability for the machine to recognize what containers on it. If you're making hot soup or uh, our queso, for example, and you put the low profile 64 ounce container and you hit the soup setting, it's gonna say five and a half minutes. But if you put the 48 ounce container, pop it on, it'll say the soup setting is gonna take seven and a half minutes. And then if you put the eight ounce container, the little bowl on here, it's gonna say, no, no, we don't do soup setting with this container because there's no vent. So I can definitely appreciate the responsive programs to the container that's on this machine. The variable speed dial. I've really gotten to become fond of the variable speed dial. So this is a never ending, I don't know really how you describe, continuous flow. So it's not a mechanical control of the variable speeds, it's actually digital. So you could spin this forever and when you turn it back on, it'll be at one. You can feel some, so it's not just a free flowing, it's kind of like a brrr, brrr. It's really easy to use, especially in the mornings, for example, when we're, we're making green juice. Start it on one for a few seconds, let it kind of catch everything, pull everything down, and then I just flick it to 10. Also nice, I appreciate the counter counting up when you're just using variable speed to tell you how long you've been blending. I know with our green juice, we make it for about a minute and 20 seconds to really get everything mixed. And so I'll head over to the sink and wash a dish or two, look over my shoulder, a minute and 20 seconds. Okay, now it's time to go back down to one to slow things down, to get some of those air bubbles out. We're good to go. 
And then also the countdown timer. So if you're using a program, a smoothie setting or uh, the soup, a soup setting. It's nice to know, okay, there's, it's been running for a long time. We only have a minute left. It's kind of a nice little status update. Like if you're waiting for the train and you see, oh, there's a train coming in two minutes. It's just kind of reassuring to know that the wait is ending soon. I will say there was some initial resistance to the clear lid because it's just, it's a different material than the, the, the rubber lid from its predecessor. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, all right, so we should talk about this. The clear lid is a little trickier to clean. It's a little more rigid, and then also there's this rubber kind of seal around it, and you kind of have to take it off to get some of the schmutz off of it. Can you see? That's a thing. I did not realize that the, that stuff kind of builds up in there. Not ideal, but I, I have gotten fond of the click and so has our little guy. He likes taking the container and going click. You can see this container is not completely shiny new like a lot of the machines that we show in demo. That's because this has gotten two years of daily or multiple times a day use. They get like this. In another video, we'll show how to kind of get this off. But if you, if you want to avoid some of this cloudy buildup, make sure to dry your container after you clean it immediately every time. If someone took away this machine, they were like, yeah, we're, we're taking away your ascent and we're putting a classy machine on your counter. Here's what I would miss. I would miss the dial. I would miss the ability to use the eight ounce container. I would miss the, the click of the lid. I would miss the look. I would miss the timer, the digital up, the digital down. I would miss the full integration with the perfect blend scale and app. Oh, and this, this is what I would miss about the container. See this thing, this little notch. This was brought to our attention uh, when we first saw this thing like two and a half years ago. I was like, yeah, this container's new. It's got the clear lid. It's got the click and it's got this notch. This notch is new and it's exclusive to these Ascent series smart system containers. It makes for a smoother pour, a smoother flow. Can you see this right here? It's a little thing, but I would miss that if someone took away my Ascent series and threw a classic back in my counter. And if you appreciate videos like this, updates about machines two years later, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Hopefully, goodbye.